Hi, I'm Cliff Sadoff, Extension Specialist at Purdue University. In this video, we are going to discuss scale insects and mealybugs. Scales and mealybugs are sucking insects that attach themselves to plants, suck their sap, and weaken them. They look like bumps on the plant surface. Here, you can see a pine needle scale female whose waxy cover has been flipped over to reveal the undisturbed pine needle tissue below. Similarly, the surface of this oak twig has not been disturbed when this Kermie scale has been flipped over to reveal her eggs. Armored scales are covered with waxy shells made of excrement that is dry to the touch. You can see the body of this pine needle scale and the eggs it is laid under its waxy cover. They hatch into legged insects that can crawl. These crawlers will settle down and insert their mouth parts into the stem or leaf tissue and begin feeding. After they start feeding, the wax becomes transparent and you can see through their bodies. As you can see from this progression, they make new and larger waxy covers with each successive molt. Winged adult males fly to mate with wingless females. The females lay fertilized eggs beneath the waxy cover. Unlike armored scales, soft scales are sticky and covered with a sugary excrement called honeydew. Over time, the honeydew turns black after it has been infested with the black sooty mold. This sticky mess attracts stinging insects that can become a real nuisance when trees are hanging over picnic areas. When infested trees are located near parked cars, the honeydew can coat windshield and pit the finish if the cars are not washed regularly. Mealybugs are closely related to soft scales. They have a similar life cycle, excrete honeydew, and have wingless adult females. Unlike soft scales, their body is covered in a mealy wax and they move around more on the plant. The crawling stages of scales and mealybugs can be more easily killed with insecticide than the more mature, less mobile stages. Oil tends to be more effective against armored scales than soft scales because it can penetrate the waxy covering of the settled scales and mealybugs. Here you see a recently settled crawler that is still transparent and able to be killed by oil. Similarly, insecticidal soap tends to work better against recently settled soft scales because it can pass through the liquid honeydew to kill the insect. Many species of soft scales spend their summers feeding on leaves where they can be killed with systemic insecticides. Here you see a recently settled soft scale on a honey locust leaf. You can determine when crawlers are active on your trees by wrapping a scale infested twig sticky side up with electrical tape to catch the crawlers. Here you see a tulip tree scale with its crawlers walking from beneath the adult female along the twig and being collected on to the sticky tape. Scale insects have many parasites and predators that keep them from harming plants in park-like settings where plants get enough water. Ants will readily feed on the honeydew produced by soft scales and will defend them from predators and parasites. Twice-stabbed lady beetles are common predators that crawl on twigs to hunt for scales. Ants will not attack their larvae because they are covered with a white wax and resemble honeydew-producing mealybugs. Small, stingless wasps will also hunt for recently settled scales on twigs where they can lay their eggs. These eggs will hatch into larvae that will consume the scales. In urban settings, plants can be stressed by pavement that absorbs heat and keeps water from reaching plant roots. This stress concentrates plant sap, making it more nutritious for scales. Female scales produce enough eggs on these plants to outstrip the ability of natural enemies to keep scales from becoming a problem. Improper use of certain pesticides can flare up scale problems by killing more natural enemies than scale insects. The Purdue Plant Doctor webpage can help you identify your scale and select the control tactic that knocks back the scales while conserving the natural enemies that helps control them. 
If you flip a bump on a plant surface and the plant tissue below is intact, you know you have a scale insect or a mealybug. Simply type the word mealybug or scale and select the scale that you would like to look at from the drop down menu. For example, you could pick up something like pine needle scale. Alternatively, you can identify the scale uh, from a, a set of pictures that we have for different types of plants. So let's say you had a problem on a mugo pine. You type the letters pine and you select mugo pine and you would select the green bar for leaves and needles where we would see images of problems that occur on the leaves of the needles of the plant. And so we can click on a high resolution photo on something that looks like it could be pine needle scales. And then you can get a closer look and compare the photo with what you have in your hand. I'll close this up, then click on the photo to get a description of the key features, including the flecked white needles and slender scales. Uh, review some of the symptoms. Uh, here you see some of the immature stages growing and expanding on uh, pine uh, needles. Uh, review key features about the biology and look at the management recommendations. These management recommendations describe how and when you could use products like horticultural oil to kill scales and preserve natural enemies. You can then take this uh, list with you to the store so you can be sure to buy what we recommend. So please be sure to visit our Plant Doctor webpage and don't let your plant problems get you down.